In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Bugaboo B5 and the Bugaboo Ant. Uh, the Bugaboo Ant, as you may know, is the newest stroller from Bugaboo. It is their micro mini small, tiny little stroller that fits in the overhead compartment of an airplane. And you may be thinking, hey, Bugaboo makes two small strollers. What's the difference? I'm going to break it down for you right now. So the Bugaboo B has been around for many years. I had this with my 10 year old. This is a great urban stroller, great for if you live in Manhattan and you're going through small elevators and you're just walking down through Central Park, this would be a really good urban stroller and the Bugaboo Ant is a really good travel stroller. Also high quality Bugaboo wheels, but it is smaller and compact and really meant for travel. And I'll show you that to you in a second. Both the Ant and the B have the seats go in both directions. There is more of a proper recline for newborn on the B, even though you can do a full recline on the Ant as well. And also you can get a proper full-size bassinet to go that clicks into the B, and that is not an accessory for the Ant at this particular second. Adjustable handlebar. Lots of different positions that you can have your handlebar for lots of different parts of different heights. With the Ant, there's the high position and the lower position. As promised, how does this thing fold? So. You take those handlebars, push it in. You just put your fingers on the little black buttons and you put your fingers around the, and you push in and it folds right down. It's small enough. It'll fit in your trunk of your Uber, no problem. Not too heavy, just under 20 pounds. But when it comes to the Ant, let me show you how this thing folds down. You'll see it folds very small. First thing you do is you push down the top of the seat just like that, and you just you kind of like smush it in like that, just a smush, there's a really nice satisfying little click, feels really great. And then what you do is just fold this forward, folds all the way forward, and then pull, pulls right up, and no bending over whatsoever, you just click the thing forward, and then you take the button, you push this down, and the cool thing is that this stands on its own. There is a little stand on your B as well, which they just added in 2019. So they actually both of these strollers stand, but you can see them side by side. You can see that the ant is so much smaller than the bee. We thought the bee was small, but then we met the ant and we see it's smaller, but we have this really cool little stand for the bee. So that stands as well. For those of you who already have a bee, for either B3 or B5, you can get the little stand that goes with it. With the bee, you just step on that sort of that brake. You push forward and it opens back up. In terms of the ant, you just pull the handle right back up. And then again, those white things, you pull it towards you and it opens right up. And then the last step is you just push down, click, click. And then you lift it back up and you are ready to go. Obviously there are more steps to open up the ant, but you get that really small compact situation at the end of the day. Things you may not know about the bee, you may have a bee, don't even realize this. There is an adjustable backrest and footrest on the bee. So this actually goes in and this actually comes up. As your child gets bigger, you can actually expand and adjust. What you wanna do is you wanna have this sort of longer on the younger child phase as the child gets older, you actually wanna make the, the seat more shallow so that the feet can hit the footrest. You can email us at questions at abeads.com if you have any questions, that's what we're here for. To turn the seat around on the B, here's what you do. You grab that lever on the back, fold it right over till it's down like that, and you just lift it out turn it around and you line up the seat again and you just click it in and boom, now you have the seat facing you. You can fold the B with the seat facing you as well. In terms of turning around the seat on the ant, here's what you do. Again, push this down, smush it in and then fold it over. This comes right out, turn it around, throw it back in and Now you can have the baby facing you. There's an extendable canopy on both of them. And for some of the canopies for the ant, you have actually a peekaboo window. And if you wanted to get a more of an airflow for a bee, you can just buy a breezy sun canopy as an accessory. I do full reviews of these strollers on the channel, so you can go check them out right now. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and give us a like if you feel like it. Thanks for watching.